Um, so in these lines, I want us to wrap up with this question, just really think through uh, 30 seconds. What will be an advice that you will give um, to um, um, American Christians who wants to engage in this issue? Um, it can be practical, it can be theological. You, you think about it, just really 30 seconds. What is something that you want people to be charged with and challenged with? Before the year ends, something practical, invite somebody to your home. Have a meal with them. And please do not ask them a million questions. <laughs> <laughs> Tell stories. Tell them who you are. Allow them to get to know you. Um, because sometimes that even helps them be able to respond back to you. Just That's something you can do. Practically, spend time with somebody. A lot of people who are not from here have uh, never entered a home of, of an American. Um, and we all know how much this country values family. And if you don't, you're not able to plug into that, you, you can end up being isolated. That's something just really practical you can do uh, before the year ends. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Please use me. Yeah. Um, you know, as a, as a professional co uh, counselor, one of the things that I do is I empower people. At least that's what I attempt to do. And I feel that the church, the individual, you as my brothers and sisters can empower those <coughs> by using your voice and, and, and not only just voting, but being inviting, by being welcoming, by being loving to those that are different than you are. Um, for me, I don't know, it's gonna be 30 seconds, but um, because what was really helpful for me was that there was also another story that I went through, which I'll not disclose, but what was really helpful was that I went through certain stuff and one of my friend, um, I guess American friend, um, immediately for him, um, his default was complaint to the uh, office. So I went through some stuff and, and he's like, I cannot believe that just happened to you. And so he actually called the government and emailed the government and he kind of like put like the complaint. And then they responded to him on the day off. And then, you know, and then he also sent me the email, forward the email to me. And then when I saw that, I mean, we understand, like, law is not going to change, like, well, over one night. You know, it's going to take time. We understand that, too. But at the same time, those kind of gestures, those kind of intentionality speaks to, to me that, Daniel, we care about you. Um, we, I got your back. And, like, we are, we are together, you know, kind of thing. So I think we can take actions. I mean, like as Americans, you know, uh, when you, once you go through civic courses, I'm very sure you guys kind of have talked about that, public policies and, you know, you have right to call your government officers and oh, that system is there. So please do call, please write emails. Um, so I think that's what Americans can do. And also for the minorities, I also want to speak in a way that, I mean, although everybody needs to vote, but especially I want to say this to minorities because as every time there's an election, I always see the statistics, and uh, they always, I don't know, racialize it, and then they put under the category. Usually, white Americans are here in statistics. I said this last year, too. And African Americans are here, and Asians and Hispanics are here. So I'm just saying, like, I think everybody needs to vote, but then especially for the minorities, I think we really need to vote and make our voice known uh, to the government as well. So that will be my charge for also for the minority community and also all the communities. Um, and lastly, for the church, as I said, learn to listen intentionally. Like that, you have to be intentional unless this conversation is not gonna happen. Amen. Well, thank you, guys. It seems to me that the biggest charge is that we cannot give for granted things and assume that because this, is, this country is a democracy and works and has economic prosperity, that everything is perfect. And we need to be willing to look at the glitches in the system and learn them and know them and take them, and take them by heart because they affect people's lives. And then ask God, prayfully consider what God asks is demanding from you to do. And if you don't feel like this is too gospel center, I will encourage you strongly, look, do a word study on the word a foreigner in the Bible. And look at what that is related to your identity as a Christian. And let that inform the process because this is not a social side issue that some Christians are socially aware and like to talk about. 
this is life, and this is people's uh, need, witness and gospel. So just do the word study and let the scripture inform you. Um, now we can, uh, if you can join me in taking our panel, we can uh, grab some questions afterwards. <laughs>